Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you often question whether someone genuinely respects you? No matter how hard you try, not everyone can respect you, and that's okay. But if you see yourself making enemies out of people that you just met, perhaps there's a blind spot that you can change for the better. So with that said, let's take a look at six reasons why others might not respect you. Number one, you make everything about you. Do you dominate the conversation, talking about everything you've been doing in life without leaving the other person any room to speak? While you may feel like you're participating in meaningful conversations, the other party might feel disinterested if they can't relate to what you're saying. They may feel like they're being talked at rather than talked to. If you feel that your conversation partner is starting to lose interest, ask them their insights and questions every once in a while to bring them back in. Number two, you dismiss other people's ideas. Do you easily dismiss other people's ideas? By doing this, you may unknowingly drive away your acquaintances. A study conducted by Joanna Ratchard and her team showed that rejection can threaten a person's need to belong and further discourages others to help you. This means that by constantly telling others that they're wrong or consistently dismissing their ideas, you may be slowly eroding your relationship with them. Instead of criticizing their ideas, try to talk in a more supportive and empathetic tone instead even if their ideas and yours are different. How you present yourself can leave a big impression. Number three, you try to control others. Do you try to monitor your significant other's social media or demand where someone is at all times? Controlling behavior is one where someone tries to take charge of someone's life through manipulation. Controlling behavior may not be present at the start, but it could gradually escalate once the relationship starts to become more intimate. This can make the other party not just lose their respect for you, but fear you as well. If you exhibit controlling behavior towards others, it's something that should be addressed by both parties and a professional, like a therapist. Number four, you don't maintain boundaries. Do you let things slide way too often? It can be difficult setting boundaries if you've never been accustomed to it, but it's incredibly important because boundaries can protect you mentally and emotionally. When you lack boundaries, you're giving the wrong impression that your identity is at the will of other people. With the wrong company, boundaries can be taken advantage of. To set boundaries, you have to define and communicate them. Then detail the consequences if they don't follow. This way your relationships can be healthy. Number five, you apologize too often. Do you say sorry even when you don't mean it? Why do we over apologize in the first place? Oftentimes. You may apologize when you feel uncomfortable, insecure, and due to fear of disappointing the other person. You could also be doing it for so long that it's ingrained as a subconscious habit. Over-apologizing signals to the other that you're to blame for things that aren't even your fault, which may be a sign of low self-esteem. If you want people to respect you, try to be careful with the language you choose. And that entails being sorry only when you think an apology is warranted rather than a fallback phrase. And number six, you break promises. Do you say you're going to arrive in a few minutes but haven't even left the house yet? Or have you told your boss, teacher, or lecturer you'd submit an assignment by the deadline but failed to meet it? Before contracts existed, a verbal promise was one of the oldest human behaviors that showed your trust and cooperation with another person. Even if you give only a glimpse of that secret to someone else, the intention can already tarnish the relationship you have with the secret teller. If you show that you're not reliable enough to confide in, you could be showing others that you're not trustworthy and they could disrespect you in return. Everyone's unique and there's no 100% way of pleasing everybody. But as long as you practice genuine kindness and empathy to yourself and others, you can naturally become someone people will like and respect. Do you do any of the things above? Are you planning to change? Let us know in the comments and like and share this video with someone who may benefit. As always, the references and studies are listed in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.